So we have had the most incredible day today on the Gulf Coast uh, in Alabama, the Gulf of Mexico region. Um, Ocean Conservancy spent the day talking to an incredible variety of folks who make their living on the water. My name is Bethany Kraft and I'm the Deputy Director of the Gulf Restoration Program for Ocean Conservancy. This morning we're in Bayou Labatry, Alabama. We watched the sunrise over the shrimp boats. It was one of the most beautiful sunrises I can remember seeing. The moon was on one side and the sun rose over the shrimp boats on the other and it made me remember what an incredibly special place this is. What I love most about my days at Ocean Conservancy is working with the people that rely on these resources for their livelihoods. The coastal way of life is an incredibly special culture. Um, it's inherent in everything you do if you live on the Gulf Coast. It's where you go to work, it's where you go to play, and it's a good portion of where you get your food. One of the most important industries on the Gulf Coast is the fishing industry. 40% of the nation's seafood comes out of the Gulf of Mexico. And after the oil spill, we realized how incredibly important it is to protect our natural resources so that our economy can stay strong and our healthy families can continue to thrive. Uh, all my life I've caught and released fish. It was never about trying to harvest fish or a competition of how many fish I could actually harvest. And over the years, I started listening to my customers and an idea came to my head one day and I said, you know what? Let's do something a little bit different. Let's ask the customers if they want to keep any fish. To my surprise, a lot of the customers actually wanted to keep a few for supper or either let them all go. And we became the first charter boat in the Gulf of Mexico that fished offshore to promote catch and release or sustainable fisheries. There were so many fish out here that have been removed. Everybody just assumed just because there's water out here, there's fish everywhere. And that's not the case. It's the memories and the experience that people walk away with. And, and an that's what's important of, to me. And an understanding of how just cool the Gulf of Mexico is. Oh, it's, it's amazing. And I want to make sure it's here for years to come. So we are at Lulu's in Gulf Shores, one of our favorite places to eat seafood. Um, one of the incredible things about Lulu's restaurant is that she locally sources a lot of her food, including the seafood, so we're going to be enjoying the best that the Gulf has to offer for dinner tonight. The Gulf Wild program is an incredible new program that is a way to source um, fish, both by the captain that caught it and where the fish was actually caught. And it's become an incredible draw for tourists who want to know where their fish comes from and that it's sourced locally and sustainably. It'll tell you a lot of information. It'll tell you the name of the captain on the boat. It'll tell you uh, the name of the vessel that they caught it with. A 10 mile by 10 mile square area where the fish came from. This fish wow. that we're preparing right here actually is just south of uh, Fort Walton. So people support it. We're selling, selling a ton of it and um, they, they love the fish. It's, it's hard not to love. This coastal way of life in the Gulf of Mexico is too precious for us to lose. And if we work together, we can accomplish amazing things. If you told me that I could be in any place on earth, I wouldn't have chosen any other place in the Gulf of Mexico.